This week we're featuring Rustic Topaz, 22 Jokes, 1954 Quarter Under the Microscope Cam, Soap on Why I Buy That, and the best content to consume all week long, all week long. Just play it over and over. Why did the bees sting the gardener? Because he was all up in their beesness. Let's start the show. This isn't the right stone. I seem to have lost the video. This is actually a very old video, to be honest. Still kind of going through the overload stones. We need to get the dog pounds feature. I didn't have time to cut anything all week. Well, I certainly hope I didn't lose the video. Because I had found it earlier. There's a small chance I may have hit the wrong button. Well, there it is. So where is it? Hmm, you can even kind of see by the old camera angle in the poor lighting <coughs> how this is a previous time okay where are oh, 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 oh. you saw that too didn't you where to go where to go I wonder if I can play that in slow motion. Oop, nope, 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 nope. Wrong button. There we go. Okay. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I just dropped it in the cup to wash it off. I thought I dropped it on the table. Or, oh, there it was. Yep. It went. It went. Shoof. It went total schloofy. Oh, I hit the thing, didn't I? Yeah, I hit the thing. Boom! It took it away from me. It was like, yerp. I wonder if I ever found that. Kind of epic, isn't it?
There we go. <laughs> oh, Benny, I have to do the show, and I can't... I, I'm not going to be able to do the show this week. I have to do the show today. I don't, I don't really have a lot of show either. Because, like I say, I, I got a gem, and I need to get this gem featured and out of the way. But, uh... Yeah, I'm glad I went with Neural Dumb Screws, Benny. I am lucky it didn't spin my fingertip off. How are you doing, Colette? Benny! Colette's helping us get a, a new microscope cam, so we're gonna have a better microscope camera. It's so exciting. But this week on the microscope cam, I... Okay, I, last week I showed you the 1944 penny that I found under that concrete. I busted up a different concrete slab, there was a 1954 quarter under it. Isn't that cool? And it, the 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 top the bo the back side the eagle side was in the concrete part, and so the the shiny part was down, and it was it was beautiful. You're gonna get to see it. It's definitely a late show. Um, <coughs> yeah, or an early show. Late show. I'm just trying to get it done show. And, you know, on top of things, I was actually listening to Dog Pound and Mother Nature talk, and I was kind of chatting in the chats, and, and it was a really nice chat. I'd like to join in on the next one, but I didn't want to join in on this one because they were having a, a great chat, and I didn't want to drone in. Because sometimes I'd, I'll do that if, it, if I'm not in the mood to be up and at them, kind of like now, which I'm trying to be a little more, because I want to I wanna do the show and I want to, you know, continue the content. I want to make sure that I'm relevant, fresh. They say in the business, you're only as good as your last show. Snippity-dippity, how do de do do I have to go live again, but I wanted to stop by. Well, thank you. I appreciate the stopping and the buying. Which reminds me, I've got soap on why I buy that. Which, I, I mean, it's actually, it's foaming hand soap. But I was like, hmm. I wonder if I just say soap, if it would be funnier. Because I'm, I'm actually going to get into that when I actually uh, get into the rest of the show. How's it going? We, um, like I say, this is an older gem. It's a rustic, I call it rustic because I left some of the, some of the, 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 uh, inclusion in it, some of the matrix. See that, that discoloration there? But for the most part, it's a nice little ring gem. And yes, it does have a window in the bottom, but the window is faceted, so it actually has character to it. And I, you know, did it all by hand couldn't bear to make it smaller by cutting that inclusion out. It just it just adds a lot to the gem. I really kind of want to make it into a ring, you know? On a piece of silver, silver, maybe some gold. It would really make kind of a pretty cool ring gem. Bling, bling, bling. I don't know. It's all right. Then I wanted to show you guys this piece of obsidian because I don't think I have the video to feature it. I tried to actually find the video, but I cut this by hand like a like a year and a half ago. Blink, 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 blink. It's got a lot of sparkly. So I'll show that under under the microscope. I really like the shape of it. I'd like to copy the shape of it in a different color. Uh, Streamlabs is reminding you of your awesomeness. Hair. Thank you, Benny. I appreciate that. Actually, there's a girl at uh, the place I got it cut that did a great job. And I wanted to give her a shout-out. And I was expecting an email. And I think it might have gone into my spam. I hope I didn't miss it. But uh, it was great of her to, 
to do such a good job on my hair. I really appreciate it. And thank you for the compliment, Benny. That's fantastic. I, man, and I am so bad with names, too. I, I thought I was going to see Carly. And the gal's name is Angie? Or in reverse? Either way, cheers to the hair cutter. Mm. I'm gonna get a wheel. <coughs> oh, there's tons of stuff out there to grind. Oh, yeah. <coughs> but <coughs> oh, Benny, uh, I I was ch uh, checking out Lipstick Chicks hand uh, channel, and she um. She had tons of quartz points, like 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 real clear points that her uh, daughter goes and digs up, or her granddaughter goes and digs up from this area that they plowed out a, a turnpike. And we were like, man, those, those you could shape those; those would be cool. And so that, that, that kind of made me think of it. Because she's got them just laying around her yard in the gardens and stuff, you know. And I mean, it, I, I shouldn't really say just laying around her garden. Because, you know, she likes them where they are. They're decorations. And that's the point, right? Ah, exactly. Benny. I, uh, that's, that's one of the problems with people changing their profile pictures, right? Wait, are we on this? Okay, that's a different stone. This one actually has the stone of point. It, there it is. You can actually almost kind of see the squarishness of it. And you'll you'll if you notice the squarishness, but there the inclusion stays. And if you notice the the angle on it, there's like like a that that top facet that angles in. That's where I got the four angles on the stone itself. And notice that blue. That's not a camera effect. The, that's the point of the inclusion reflecting back off of that facet and giving the natural light blue of an unirradiated blue topaz. It's just classic, which is why we have to show it on the microscope portion, which is what we're going to get to right now. Love some topaz. If anybody has any topaz questions, feel free to ask them in the chats as I fire up the microscope portion. Wait, is that really? Okay, here's a, this will give you an idea of how old this footage is. Notice that I still have the platform attached to the grinder. That was like two and a half years ago. Okay, why buy that? There's the joke, there's the camera, and here is the microscope portion. There we go. Okay. Basically just waiting. Waiting for me to uh, turn it on? No. <coughs> it's looking for something else. There's the cam... Oh, 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 we're way out of focus. Okay. There's George. So I found the quarter in the dirt like this, and I almost didn't even pick it up because it looked like a slug of metal. And I said, oh, I'm going to pick that up. Plus, you know, I was working. I was tired. I was like, uh, and it's pretty well worn. I rubbed the dirt off. But, uh, 
and I flipped it over and I noticed it's kind of shiny. It's got a 1954. That means it's it's a silver quarter. It's 90% silver. Got a lot of scratches. Probably been through a lot of pockets. I wonder what it was used to buy last. But, you know, let's get a closer look at this silver, right? Maybe we can look at the date. Get a really close look at the date. Oh yeah, notice the... the it's sort of worn, but... Uh, it still kind of shows where it was, uh, you know, originally formed on that 5. Originally stamped. That 9's got a pretty heavy wear, and so does the 1. But then that four, it's almost like it's pitted out. Too bad I can't zoom in a little more. I guess once I get the new microscope cam, we'll, we'll actually really be able to zoom in a little more. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's look at the topaz. Oh, you found a quarter today? Alright, good job. And it's silver. Fantastic. I wish my brother George were here. I bet he is, Benny. I bet he's... He's just waiting... For all the great things that are coming... This week. We're gonna make it a great week. We're gonna make fantastic things happen this week, aren't we? Oh man, I gotta get better polish. Ah, it's chipped. I wonder how that happened. Did I not even finish it? Maybe I did. Oh, it looks like I didn't actually finish it. Maybe I'm featuring an unfinished gemstone. Look at that. There's the inclusion that I didn't grind all the way out of it. Kind of rusty. Kind of interesting to me that the rust didn't turn this into an imperial topaz. But I couldn't bring myself to grind all that out of there. It sort of adds a character to the gem. And like these pits here, that's just more inclusion that I could grind a little deeper to get rid of. But I like the size of it. And I suppose I could actually kind of take it down a little bit more. But to be honest, I don't think I'm actually going to do that. I think I'm going to stick with... Wrong way, wrong way, back up, back up, back up, back up. I think I'm going to stick with it as it is. And uh, I'll probably wind up giving it to someone. At some point. This will probably be a gift gem. I'll just have to put a little bit of polish on it. See, I, I put this... Uh, Here's that bottom facet on the window. Did it all by hand. Don't believe me? Watch the video. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> I was hoping I had all the video for it. Because I don't know that I have all the video for this gem. It was so long ago. I wasn't... <clears throat> I didn't really have a process to recording all the gem shaping. And, you know, that kind of stuff. A little bit different now. Except that I don't have the time. Never have the time. Which is why I can't make any pizza sauce. But I can make certain portions of the program. Oh, I was going <coughs> to... Wrong button. Over and over. Opening the camera back up. I was going to show you this, uh, this obsidian piece. Because I don't think I have the video for this one either. And it's an Apache steer. You know, volcanic glass. And it's pretty basic. I mean, it's, you know, it's an emerald top. And it's got like a six-sided bottom. But it gives a lot of flicker. And it's a nice, solid piece.
Doesn't really show the flicker with the uh, the lights being so close. I need an indirect light for the gem cam. Let's try that. Actually, let's try that. Let me shut off. Because I can shut the, off the actual <coughs> the light. And then we'll light it with a flashlight. Oh, that may, that may actually work for us. It's a little different, you know. Yeah, that helps show the, uh, the inclusions, those little specks inside of there. Those are pieces of volcano. Those are pieces of hot magma. Frozen magma. That was on VHS, by the way. Inside of this piece of glass. And that's what I love about the microscope cam. Can't wait till we get the better one. But until we get to that, we're going to do why I buy that. Or, you know, I need to change the thing so it reads why. But, you know, why did I buy that? Foaming hand soap. Why I buy that? I bought some foaming hand soap. And I actually, I bought the Dial Foaming Hand Soap. I'm starting to wonder about it because it's in that box. And they didn't put it in the box until the virus thing happened. And I'm from the generation of, you know, reduce, reuse, recycle and all that. And I'm like, the extra box is kind of annoying. So it almost makes me not want to buy it. But I am used to the Dial. And the Dial actually, like... I've tried using the cheaper ones. The dial goes farther per penny. So that's why I buy the brand name dial over the the cheap one. And then they have those decorative ones uh, that I, I thought about trying. You know, they got the big ball or they got the other one. And, you know, I'm too manly to go with the decorative one. I got to get, I, I got to dial it in there, baby. And so I, you know, I, I mean, I'm not trying to spend too much time picking out what I buy. But I am trying to understand it. And so I spend a lot more time right here on why did I buy that than I do actually buying that. Just kind of put that out there. But I, I, I decided I'd go with the dial and what I'm used to, and I didn't really see anything around other that I was interested in. I didn't need the refill one. Um, I, I Actually, I like the refill, but they don't offer the refill in all the different colors, which, I, I mean, they have different scents up there. They have the, I don't know whatever scent they are. It's probably like, fret. okay, I'm going to go base it off the colors that I see, and I'm, I'm, this isn't what they're called. But the blue, I'm going to say fresh. The orange, I'm going to say it's orange. The purple, I'm going to say it's flowery. The clear one, I'm going to say it smells like almost nothing. And the green one, I'm going to say it smells like apples or limes or probably not limes. But that actually would be cool to have a, li a lime lifesaver scented foaming hand soap. Just throwing that out with that hair dial. And then the last one on the right it was like berry blast or something I don't know I would say that the red one probably smells like some sort of berries and that, that's probably what it was and that's actually what I picked but it wasn't because of the scent I, I, I would be happy with any of those scents really and at this point I'm not averse I want to say what I have right now is the orange one but it's so far down uh, I'm pretty sure it's it, it's it's the orange one. It's not the red one. So I got the red one. Maybe I did get another red one. No, I actually I'm pretty sure it was orange. But anyway, I didn't I bought didn't buy it for the scent. I bought it for the color. I want a red thing on there. It's it's, it's gemstony. You know, it kind of looks like a nice gemstone. So I was like, all right, sold for a dollar eighty four sixty four plus tax. I got some foaming hand soap. That's why I buy that. Why do you buy that? Oh, and I didn't even 
mention why I'm buying the foaming hand soap over other soap. And the reason I get the foaming hand soap is because of the combination of speed and conservation. So when I use bar soap or liquid hand soap, I have to take the time to foam it up, right? And then I have to get it all off and it doesn't all come off so my hands dry out. So, and, if, and you try this out. Rub your hands together, rinse the soap off, and then take them out, rub them together some more, and they'll still be bubbly. Rinse them off again, rub them together some more, still be bubbly. Four times. And so, um, with the foaming hand soap, I put my hand under the water, and then I pump some soap on it, and then I put my other hand under the water so there's a layer of the water to help wick. And then I get it going, I clean it up, I rinse them off, and then I dry. And it's a lot faster with the foaming hand soap than with the liquid or bar. It's just experience that I've had, so I, I stick with it because it, it's it's cheaper in the long run and it's better for the environment. Leaves behind very little. Eh? Yes, exactly. Zest. Oh, it's zesty, isn't it? I love zest. Now we're 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 actually we're talking about shower after that. Then then we're then we're starting to get into it. The shower, you know, shower soap. That's a different topic. That's a different. Why do I buy that? And I bought some foaming hand soap. Do you buy foaming hand soap? Why do you buy that? Which um actually takes us past the interview card because I don't have anything lined up this week to the part of the program that we call the joke portion of the program. Let's see what I got this week. Okay, what do I got that's funny? What do you call a fake apostrophe? An imposterphe. A fake apostrophe. A f an imposterphe. Okay, ruining the joke portion already. Why do people make recyclable things? You know, I as a repairman, I'm tired of things breaking down. And to be honest, if baby diapers don't break down, let's just make roofs out of them. I mean, they'll absorb all the leaks. I got a paper cut, which means I can't be trusted with paper. Um, why did the gardener get upset with her beets? Because they were dead beets. Why did the bees sting the gardener? Because she was all up in their beesness. Why did the pig run to the woods? He was going hog wild. Getting caught up for two weeks here. I'm so hyper. My ADHD is more like 90 HD. And the other end of that joke, my attention span is too short for ADHD. It's more like 70 or 60 HD. What did the handyman say when fixing the air conditioner? The dirty in grate wouldn't let air flow. Love that joke. Why does the lumber yard use sanitizer? Because of all the mildew. That's an unfinished joke. It's only one layer. Just wordplay. What about the second time Lazarus died? He's like, no, no. Just, uh, hey, I'm okay this time. Uh, oh, hey, what's the safest place to grow your plants? In the guard den. Where all the guards are sleeping. We grow them in there. I hooked up a stove. It was a gas. I combined Natty, Fitz, and Lining Kugels. I call it my NFL draft. Dumb brewing joke. It's great. All right, here's another. Here's a computer joke. Ready? Why did the government find? It's coming at you whether you're ready or not. Why did the government find the computer? Because of its syntax. K 
Can you play a piece of Swiss cheese as an instrument? It probably sound kind of like a pipe organ. When people ask my age, I tell them 720p. Because I'm not young enough for 1080. Ah, uh, this is just a note. It's a, it's a note. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're we're gonna bring that one up in, in just a little bit. We're almost done, by the way. This is this is um my my butt is so okay. Yeah, we're gonna talk about my butt in just a second. Uh, first, this is a fake product. So, auto drivers, do you have a nice car but you don't want thieves rummaging around in it? Try the latest in anti-theft technology. Bag of trash in your car. Simply take bag of trash in your car, open it up, and spread it around. Thieves will look on and say, Hey man, you want to check this car out? Nah, I've already been dumpster diving today. And they'll pass on to the next car. Bag of trash in your car. Pick one up around the back side of your local store today. And for an added level of security, try restaurant bag of trash in your car. I just thought that was hilarious. Just, you know, throw a bag of tr trash in your car. Maybe it, maybe it's just me. Uh, because, uh, let's see. All right, this, this is three different notes, so I'm going to try and tie these all together. Um, and these three notes I'm tying together with an old bit. So I'm bringing up an old bit. It had me thinking... <coughs> You know, you can't say fat people anymore because it's mean, and we don't like to be mean like that, so um, we don't say that. But we can say people in denial of their weight because that's me. I mean, my belt loops are like this long, and they're billowed up on one side. You know, when I put my belt on, it's like I'm setting a mouse trap. Whoosh, flink, and it, you know, it has me thinking, uh, I, I prefer to travel by a blimp because it makes me look thinner. Which has me wondering, uh, wh why does Goodyear sponsor blimps? I mean, they don't need tires. Are they just trying to be funny? You know, because maybe they're trying to say their tires are like balloons, and we're all driving around on blimps. Which made me think, we should probably fill tires with helium. It'd be a lot funnier when you get a flat. Speaking of flat, my butt is so square that you could use it as a straight edge. People are like, hey, we need to straight some. Jacob, come over here and turn around. Which is the funny part. When I bump into things, I actually straighten them a bit. Like I tried to straighten the... Wait a minute, did... Did I have a, an ending joke? I usually try to have an ending joke. Something about, right, why did the plumber use the big plunger to fix the clog? Because it was heavy duty. Just like this week's <laughs> joke portion of the program. Thank you all for being here for the joke portion. Let's play a quick game of chess and get you on your way. With the chess portion of the program... Okay, I swear at one time I did actually have a show planned to kind of work. That's the other topaz. Okay, this piece. There. It's working again. Okay, now chess. Let's do the chess. Okay. Are we lined up? Yes. Oh, I can't believe I'm about to play a game of chess. Yeah. Let's play live chess online against a person of similar skill. Oh, no, not of similar skill. This game will take forever. Oh, man. They're ready to go. I'm ready to. I'm ready. Let's play. Let's do some chessing. 
Let's chest it up. And then we'll go uh, this kind of chest. And then we'll go this kind of chest. And then we'll go... Uh, I, don't, I didn't see where they went. Um, this kind of chest. And then we'll go this kind of chest. And then we'll go uh, this kind of chest. And then we'll go uh, this kind of chest. And then we'll go this kind of chest. And then we'll go uh, what kind of chess? That kind of chess. And then we'll go... Uh, mm, this kind of chess? And then... Uh, that kind of chess. And then that kind of chess. And then, let's see, that kind of chess. That kind. Well, I ran out of time. Oh man, I should have had a plan. All right, so, Let's give the analysis, because that's the fun part. This is where we learn. I should have had a plan. But how do you have a plan? Okay. Oh, okay, there we go. Okay. Pause. I should have pulled my knight back. That's where it went, it went awry. I was wondering about opening that door. Oh, that was when I gave up my knight. Okay. So, actually taking that was a bad move. And I was wondering, because I did open up the queen area there, I made it easier for the queen to come out. Yeah. That was probably a bad idea. I thought that was a pretty good idea. It was kind of protective. I guess I had a pretty good set. And then... Yeah, we ran out of time. That was a good game. It, just like it was a good stream. Because of all of you coming by. And hanging out. And checking out the stream. Wait a minute. That's my website. Okay. There we go. Super jokes. Closing joke. Always try to have a good joke. Ah, uh, flat as a board. Easy. Oh, that's funny. Benny, you're hilarious. I am so glad you stopped by. And Kala S stopped by, and Honest Gas stopped by, and even 710 made it freaking awesome. Smooth on the sides and rough on the bottom. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad y'all made it. I hope y'all have a wonderful week. I hope I can have an interview lined up next week. And a gem with some, like, better quality video. And, uh, actually, I've been working on some Hessenite. So hopefully we'll get to see this um, get finished up next week. And uh, hopefully I can do it on Sunday at, you know, 9 p.m. Eastern. I, I was so late, I was like 9 p.m. Western. Still didn't make it. <laughs> uh but I did make some progress with the, the plant food logo this week. Um, Mother Nature gave us a plant food, or, or she, she made a logo, which I'm going to use for 22 gemstones, the company. And then the product will be 22 gemstones plant food. It'll be the gemstones plant food. So it's 22 gemstones, gemstones plant food. 
And so the label company is taking her logo and putting it all on there. It's awesome. It's so cool. It's so professional, just like we try to be right here on the Gemstone Show every week and hopefully next